Hi guys. We are gonna do a little bit of vocabulary practice now. So for um, this unit, we are talking about different types of school programs, how to describe those programs, and how to describe what you are looking at in those programs. So I want us to practice a little bit of vocabulary. And to do that, we're going to look at the same article that we worked on for the scanning, but now we're going to look at some of the words in it. So let me share my screen with you so that you can take a look at it again. All right, this is the same article we looked at before when we practiced scanning for information. So when we did that, we looked at the title. That's a certified nursing assistant, basic health care. And we looked at the four um, headings that were in it. So course meets, prerequisites, course duration, and course begins. So we got an idea of what the article was about. We know it's about a nursing program. We know sort of the schedule. We know that there are courses you have to take before it. We can see when it begins and we can see how long it is. It's two semesters long. So we have a basic idea of what this is about, but we're also going to look at some of the words in it. So I am going to read this and I just want you to listen. I want you to listen and get an idea of what this course is like, what are some of the things they will do in the course. Okay. So listen as I read. Certified Nursing Assistant, or CNA, Basic Healthcare. Students will train in the basic skills needed in CNA jobs. They will receive training in basic nursing skills, so the, the first things you need to know to be a nurse, emergency care and safety, so what to do in, a, in an emergency, personal care and rehabilitation services. So personal care means helping someone who needs a nurse to help them, maybe someone who is older or someone who has some kind of um, sickness or disability, something like that. And rehabilitation services. So if someone has hurt themselves, if they've broken their leg, and they are learning how to use it again, or they are making it stronger. So those are the things that this course will talk about. Basic nursing skills, emergency care and safety, personal care and rehabilitation services. The course will emphasize patient rights and interpersonal communication. So the rights of patients, what they are um, entitled to, what kind of things they, um, that the law says they can have, and interpersonal communication. So interpersonal means between two people, so communication between two people. To receive on-the-job training, so practice at work, Students will complete work placements at the local hospital. This means on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday during the year. So this is like an internship where someone works at the hospital while they are being a student. Enrollment depends on acceptance into a work placement. So to be in the class, you must have a work placement. And this is the note we read earlier. Note, placements are on a first come basis, so candidates should apply to hospitals in their area as soon as possible. Then we're talking about the schedule. So course meets on Tuesdays and Thursdays, 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. in Stevens Hall. So it's a very long course, very long class time. And it's on Tuesdays and Thursdays, B 
because we know their work placements are on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So that's when it meets. Prerequisites, we talked about this before when we were scanning. These are courses that they have to take before this course. So any student who is in this course has to have already taken first aid and CPR. Move that down some. Then we have the course duration or how long the course is. It's two semesters and it begins on August 25th. So let's take a look at a little bit of vocabulary. Number one, do nurses need interpersonal skills? What do you think? Do nurses need interpersonal skills? Why? Why do, yes, they do. They do need interpersonal skills. We see that it talks about interpersonal communication. Interpersonal means between two people. So having interpersonal skills means that you are good at talking to other people. You're good at working with other people. So why does a nurse need interpersonal skills? Yeah, they're working with patients, they have to talk to patients, they have to work with doctors and other people at their at the hospital. Good. Good. Number two, what is the duration of this course? Repeat after me, duration. Good, duration just means length of time. So we see down here in one of the headings where it says course duration. And it's two semesters long. So the length of time for the course is two semesters long. Good. Number three, what do students need to qualify for this course? What do students need to qualify for this course? So qualify means what do they have to meet? to be able to take this course? What do they need to have to be able to take this course? Okay, so you might be able to think of some things that would be good. Based on our reading, we know that they have to have a work placement. We know they must have that to take the course. And they must have taken these two courses. So if a student wants to take this course and they don't have a work placement, they cannot take the course. We know if a student wants to take this course and they have not taken first aid, or they have not taken CPR, they can't take this course. So these are things they must have to be able to take the course. So they need them to qualify, to be able to do something, to have the qualifications to do something. So, what do students need to qualify for this course? They need a work placement and they need two prerequisites, first aid and CPR. And the last one, number four, is there a registration deadline listed? Do you see a registration deadline? No, we don't see one. There's not a registration deadline on this, 
on this flyer. We see a, the day the course begins, but we do not see a deadline. We don't see the last day someone can apply. Okay. Now, there's probably some other vocabulary in here that you are unfamiliar with. So I am going to read this again. I'm going to read it again. As I read it, I want you to follow along and on a piece of paper or in your notebook, I want you to write down five words that you are unfamiliar with or that are new. So words that are new or you are unfamiliar with using them. So maybe you've heard them, but you've never said them. So five words from this flyer that are new or you are unfamiliar with using them. So I'm going to read it. As I read it, write down five words. Course description. Certified nursing assistant, CNA, basic healthcare. Students will train in the basic skills needed in CNA jobs. They will receive training in basic nursing skills, emergency care and safety, personal care and rehabilitation services. The course will emphasize patient rights and interpersonal communication. To receive on-the-job training, students will complete work placements at a local hospital, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, during the year. Enrollment depends on acceptance into a work placement. Note, placements are on a first come basis, so candidates should apply to hospitals in their area as soon as possible. Course meets Tuesday and Thursday, 9 a.m. to 2 p.m., Stevens Hall. Prerequisites First aid. CPR. Course duration, two semesters. Course begins August 25th. Okay, take a minute, make sure you have five vocabulary words written down. Right. If you need some more time, you can pause the video to write down those five words. If not, we are going to be talking about some of that vocabulary on Wednesday. So make sure you have those words. Um, send me a picture of those words if you can before Wednesday so I know what words we need to talk about. Otherwise, I will, we will be, what? otherwise we will continue talking about those words on Wednesday and do some more practice with um, some of the vocabulary and more about looking at different programs. All right, guys, have a great day and I will see you soon. Okay, bye guys.